In this module, let's take a look at how you determine the security posture or the strength of security or the maturity of security of an organization. So there are several questions, and if you ask these simple questions, uh, you can very well understand what is the security level of, or the strength of the security program. Uh, first question, is there an information security policy in place? And usually organizations have information security policies, but they're not being updated. People don't know where they are. People haven't read them. Or they're too long. They're, you know, the security policy or the information policy or the IT policy, IT manual would be 120 pages or let's say 50 pages, and nobody wants to read it. So it should be these policy documents, which are the constitution, the rules and regulations, what can be done by who, when, um, they need to be very brief and concise, uh, not more than a few pages, maximum a dozen pages for the entire policy. Um, uh, or, you know, preferably three to four pages maximum for the IT policy and the security policy so that people um, are, are actually willing to read that. The organization security culture and tone at the top, is there a security culture? Um, the top management, do they talk about security in meetings? Do they hold people accountable? Do they ask questions related to security in, uh, when new projects are being discussed? Uh, clearly designated responsibility for security. Have they designated a chief information security officer? Is there a head of security, for example? Is there a department set up? Is it designated who is responsible to run the security program? How many staff in security team? Uh, is it almost 10% of the IT uh, staff? If there, are, if there are 100 people in IT, there should be at least 10 people in security. And that is a general rule of thumb. Security hardening done on IT assets. Is there a security hardening mechanism and a policy um, is there, a, is there, a, is whenever an IT asset is procured, is the IT asset actually hardened? Are all the IT asset assets hardened? Has some effort being been made already to harden the IT assets? And which standard is being used? Is it Center for Internet Security Controls? Is it DISA? Or is it something else? Is it the PCI standard, um, you know, for example? Internal vulnerability management program, does it exist? How many times a year uh, is scanning done? How long does it take to fix the vulnerabilities and to patch the vulnerabilities? Is, are the servers patched? It's very important uh, because many times the workstations are patched and scanning is done, but the servers are not patched. What is the frequency of the vulnerability management scanning? It should be done at least once a month, preferably twice a month. Is the software licensed for the operating system, the databases, and the other software programs? Or is it um, uh, you know, pirated software which is being run in the organization? When was the last time a penetration test was conducted by a third party? Uh, important consideration because um, pen testing or penetration testing is a very specialized function and not everybody can do it. Um, especially people in the organization normally don't have the skill set for it. What is the maturity of system uh, security policies pushed through Active Directory and through group, group policies? So the security policies on the systems and the servers, are they actually being pushed out? Uh, is that well organized, the Active Directory structure? The DR and backup site, do they exist? Is there a disaster recovery site? Is it well-maintained? Is there a strategy? Is there a DR plan document? Um, when was the last time a DR drill was conducted? How many times a year is that, is that done? Is internal software developed? Is there a team for software development? Do they follow a security SDLC? A secure SDLC is a secure software development lifecycle. What is the mechanism to take backups? Uh, is it mature? Um, is it monitored? Are the backups tested? What is the maturity of access control? Uh, restricting access, making sure the users are getting only those roles which they are authorized for. And uh, they are not able to use more resources or gain access to more resources at different or higher privilege levels than they are authorized. Are regular audits done for access control? Is the role-based access control, RBAC, uh, role-based access control, is it audited? on a regular basis. Um, what type of security controls are implemented on transactional systems, such as your mobile banking or internet banking? Do you have two-factor authentication on such systems? Um, is critical data in the organization encrypted in both the production environment and the test setup um, or the pilot test setup environment? How do you protect test data? Do you have a policy? Do you have a mechanism? What is the mechanism to perform security accreditation Whenever there's a new project uh, for new systems, the security team should actually accredit that the application is ready for launch and it's secure. Is security embedded in critical business processes? You see, so 
we just don't look at devices. We also have to look at the business process. Are those secure? Um, has security consideration been put into them? Is there a business continuity and DR policy or mechanism in place? And then is security standard uh, framework followed for governance? Is there a governance framework? Um, is there a mechanism uh, to manage security? Is the internal security awareness program in place to actually train people? Um, is, are there awareness campaigns in place? Are there, for example, banners and, and standees in place so that people, when they're walking about, they can look at that? Is the maturity of change management and incident management in place? And is there a board and steering committee in place so that it can regulate the security function? Uh, finally, the implementers of the security measures are often not the ones who will give you the best answers to these questions. So if you go to an IT head and ask them, well, how secure is your organization? They'll always tell you that it's very secure most of the time. Um, so you should get in touch with auditors, compliance team should also be queried and uh, they would give you, or the risk team, for example, would give you a good idea and you should look at uh, the external audit reports. You should look at the internal audit reports. You should look at the security uh, pen test, for example, by third parties. And the important question is, have there been any recent incidents uh, in the past? That will give you a very good insight onto the, onto the strength of the security posture of the organization. Thank you.